I'm rolling with Mobile Geeks and what we have right here is the new Nvidia Shield tablet that is an 8 inch Full HD gaming tablet based on the Nvidia Tegra K1 quad core ARM Cortex A15 2.2 GHz SoC in this case that has a 192 core Nvidia Kepler based graphics part that should deliver uh, PC or console level graphics in a super compact Android uh, form factor. This device is also capable of PC game streaming, so you'll be able to play your games from the TV with this. There's also going to be a controller available that I'm going to show you in another video, probably in the unboxing, um, that will be sold separately and is specifically designed for this tablet right here. We have an 8-inch panel on the front. It's an IPS screen as it seems, does definitely have nice viewing angles and the brightness is also pretty decent. It's not the highest, but it's, yeah, it's pretty much all right. We have 1920 by 1200 pixels and 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of flash storage or 32, depending on which model you get. There's only the LTE version that is going to have 32 gigs. The Wi-Fi model only has 16. You get a 5 megapixel on the front the camera up here, uh, 5 megapixel camera right there on the front, and two speakers on both sides of the screen. So there's definitely front facing speakers. And there's a bit of room on both sides of the screen too, so you can actually uh, put your our fingers or hands around them pretty easily and not cover the screen accidentally. On the side, on the left, or in this case, the top, we have the headset jack plus a mini HDMI out and a micro USB port. Right next to that is a speaker outlet that makes sure you can always hear the sound of the device even when holding it in some strange ways. The bezels are pretty small on the sides at least, left and right there. On the bottom there's only the second speaker in this case or the right side depending on how you hold the device. Up top there is a hole for this guy, which is the Direct Stylus 2.0, or at least their passive stylus they have, with this kind of odd-looking tip right there that is able to uh, draw wider and thinner lines without any problems. We have a plastic back cover with this matte finish right here and another 5 megapixel camera. The whole thing is 9.3 millimeters thick and weighs in at 390 grams. And while we are on the top right here, we have the power button, the volume rocker, and the micro SD card slot for storage extension up to 128 gigabytes. Right there is the SIM card slot for your LTE modem for the LTE version in this case. And that's pretty much it. Right now it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat. They're upgrading to 4.4.3 when going to retail and they're guaranteeing you that you will get Android 5.0 or Android L release on this device as soon as Google makes that available. I was rolling with Mobile Geeks checking out the Nvidia Shield tablet. And if you like what we do on our channel, subscribe, give us a thumbs up and a like on Facebook, Google+, or follow us on Twitter, visit the websites, and we will see you later. Bye.